you can't put sunlight into a bottle, and yet the trapping of sunlight to turn it into biological energy was one of the miracles of early life. How was it done? You can't bottle sunlight, so you have to convert it into another form, such as a chemical, that can be transported and stored. What kinds of molecules can do this? Flexible molecules can do this. Flexible molecules are metal-containing ring compounds such as chlorophyll. A chlorophyll molecule is like a rubber band. It can absorb the shock of a photon and stretch, holding the energy for a brief moment in time until it finally releases it at a lower level that can be captured by another molecule and ultimately converted into a chemical form. You can see that by shining an ultraviolet light onto chlorophyll. It grows, glows bright red since it absorbs the energy of the ultraviolet light but cannot pass it on to a, a molecule uh, so it releases it as the lower f energy form of red light. So in brief, uh, chlorophyll can capture a photon of light and store the energy to release it shortly thereafter. You can see this as red light being released by the molecule, or uh, in a biological situation, it can convert it into biological gasoline, or ATP, that can be stored and used elsewhere. This and other adventures can be found in The Joy of Science by Richard A. Lockshin, published by Springer.